Hi guys, welcome to another edition of All Things Real Estate. This week I am talking about something that's near and dear to sellers' hearts, and that is how much does it actually cost to sell a house? Uh, so when I was just researching this and getting my notes together for this video today, I decided to do a little Google search on what Google's answer was to that question. I heard, I saw on Google that they were saying up to 10% to sell your house. Lies, I'm telling you, those are lies. <laughs> Stay tuned for the real answer. Okay, so the real answer from a real real estate broker is usually I ballpark it for people at about 7%. So number one, the biggest cost to sellers is going to be the real estate commission. I'm not going to lie, um, but a good real estate broker and agent are worth every penny because you will sell your house for more money, okay? So 6% is typical of a real estate commission in Texas in the Dallas area, which is where I do my real estate. And um, what that does is it's, it's split in half, basically. It's 3% to the listing broker, 3% to the buyer broker. And I will tell you, if you go and try to do a discount on that and you advertise a lesser percentage than 3% to the buyer broker, and that goes out on MLS because we have to share what we're paying the buyer broker as listing brokers. So it goes on MLS and there are buyer brokers out there, buyer agents, who will look at that percentage and not show your house. So I never recommend to sellers that they do less than 3% to the buyer agent because uh, your house will linger for longer and you will sell it for less money because you linger. So the, anyway, the biggest cost is the real estate commissions. Now when you buy a house um, on the buyer side, you pay no real estate commissions. So the seller pays all the real estate commissions, listing and buyer broker. And then when you go to buy, buy a home, you do not pay your agent or your broker. So um, that's 6% right there. Um, other fees that you're gonna pay at closing are prorated taxes. So say your closing date is June 6th. You're gonna pay from January 1 to June 6th those taxes per day prorated out over the year um, at closing for your portion of the taxes. And at the end of the year, the buyer is gonna be responsible for all of the taxes paid for that year. So um, that is sort of the cost to you um, for taxes at closing. If you escrow your taxes as part of your mortgage, your mortgage company has that money um, in your escrow account and you will actually receive that as a refund um, within 30 days of closing. So you'll pay them up front at closing, but then you get sort of a rebate from your mortgage company if you escrow your taxes. Um, your insurance and stuff like that will also be in there. So it's a little nice chunk of change after you have sold your house within that next 30 days. Okay. So we've gone over commission, we've gone over tax probations, what's next? Um, HOA fees. So if you live in a neighborhood with an HOA, you're going to have some HOA fees at closing. Um, typically you're going to pay for your portion of the HOA fees for when you have lived in the house during that year. You might actually pay for a transfer fee and things like that for the transfer of the HOA to the buyer. Aren't those fun, those HOA fees? I just love them. Don't, doesn't everybody just love the HOA fees? Um, okay, what else do I have here? Um, let's see. You are going to have a title cost, a title fee. So the cost that it takes for the title company to do the title research on your home and provide the buyer with clear title, there is a fee for that. Um, there is an escrow fee itself, which is typically between like four and five hundred, maybe even six hundred dollars. That is like an, a flat fee to the title company. Then there's also the cost of the title policy itself. That is a fixed cost and it's cost in the state of Texas and you can actually look it up. It's based on the cost of your house. So say for a um, $400,000 house, that fee at closing is about um, $2,500. And your real estate agent or broker can um, find out what that number is for you as part of your net sheet at closing, at, um, before your closing. Another fee that sometimes we see, um, a little less often than it used to be, but it's coming back as the market is shifting a little bit back into a balanced market between buyer and seller, is a home warranty fee. Lots of buyers will ask a seller to pay for a home warranty for them. 
that pays for things that might break in the home during the first year that that buyer owns the home. Typically, that's a fee of about 600 or so dollars at closing. So that is about it. Those are the fees that you're typically gonna see at closing. So let me just review those real quick with you. Um, you're gonna have the real estate commission fees. Um, usually those are 6%, although they are negotiable. Um, but for a good one, you're gonna pay, just like anything else. Um, so that's 6% typically. Title policy. Um, you're gonna have, I, I would say title policy would be like probably about a half percent of the cost of your house is kind of a good ballpark. You're also going to have your property taxes prorated. You're going to have your HOA fees and those prorated. And then possibly a home warranty fee um, for the buyer if the buyer is asking for a home warranty. And then you're also going to have a flat fee escrow amount. So those are kind of the costs that you can expect at closing. Your real estate broker or agent should do a net sheet for you when they come to their listing appointment and they talk about the marketing and all the fun stuff that they're going to do to sell your house. They should have a net sheet there for you. I always have this there um, for my sellers so that there are no surprises um, and that you know you can actually look at what you're really gonna net from your home. Oh, one more thing you're gonna have at closing. <laughs> if you owe money on your home, you're gonna have to pay it off. Uh, that's a big one. That's bigger than the real estate commissions, <laughs> typically. So you know if you sell your house for 400, you've got 200 left, then you've got you know your fees and everything taken out of that. So um, yeah, you got to pay off your mortgage at closing, and that is actually part of what the title company does as well. So I hope that uh, answers any questions about how much it costs to sell your house in Texas. And it is not 10%. Don't let Google tell you that. Um, anyway, I will see you next week. I hope on another edition of All Things Real Estate. If you like the video, I would really appreciate. If you would subscribe, like the video, that kind of thing. I'm trying to grow the channel. You know how that goes if you watch YouTube. So I will see you next week. Have a great one. Bye-bye.